Hi guys, today I'm doing another haul. I got beauty, I got clothes, I got shoes, and we're just gonna get into it. And yes, as you can tell by the thumbnail, it will be a try on haul, so enjoy that. I think we're gonna get beauty out of the way first. Um, I will put a timestamp in the description box and maybe just like on the screen now so you can skip to fashion if you're not into beauty stuff. You're welcome. First things first, I ordered this. I wanted it for ages. It's the Avene Eau Thermale. Shouldn't have tried it in French. There's English on the bottle too. Thermal spring water. I actually used to write buying guides for different websites, doing all the research on the history of the brand. And this brand I did a lot of research on and it's such a good brand for sensitive skin. If you watched my last kind of complaining vlog, <laughs> I talked about I was having a lot of like dry, irritated skin, really bizarre, and I got this because it's supposed to help with that and I love it. As you can tell, I dyed my hair. You can see it when I like look my head down like that. I messed it up. I really don't like it. I should have just left it how it was. I probably will be dyeing it back to my natural color soon. I actually got an allergic reaction. It was like a whole big thing and I don't like the color. I think it's way too orange. It didn't come out how I wanted and I tried to tone down the brassiness so I splurged on very expensive products and they work but they're not the best and they smell really good and I think that I have seen a bit of a difference. So they're from the brand Pravana which is I believe vegan and cruelty free. And it looks like this. It's a small bottle. This thing was like $25. The purple shampoo to narrow down the brassiness and you don't need to have blonde hair. You can actually use it on like my color hair. The shampoo I do like more than the other thing I bought but I do like this and I think it's better than any of the drugstore ones I've gotten. Sorry if you can hear my cat meowing. She, I don't even want to get into it. I also picked up a mini travel size of the perfect blonde purple toning mask. I don't use conditioner anymore in the shower. I mentioned that in my last hair routine video and this I wanted just because I thought maybe the purple shampoo might dry my hair out. That's the experience I had before. I don't think this made as much of a difference. Like I don't think you need this unless you have really dry hair. I think the shampoo should be fine. I got this two pack from um, Amazon for I want to say $12 but there's really only one product I wanted but they didn't sell it by itself so I got a two pack. It's from Love Beauty and Planet. Looks like this. They have this brand a lot of places. It's really good for the environment and it's good ingredients and things like that. They're all recyclable packaging. Pretty much it's a body wash and a showerless cleansing mist which, I, which is what I found so interesting. And it's called Radical Refresher for on-the-go freshness and acts of love for our planet. Coconut water and mimosa flower. The smell is great. I don't even know how. It has like a floralness to it, but it also has that coconut scent. So I do think it's a bit more summery. I just thought it's like kind of like a dry shampoo, but for your body. And I know that's gross. Pretty much it's just a spray. You can spray all over your body and like it's supposed to absorb and, you know, be good. That set also came with this humongous bottle of body wash. I haven't tried this yet. I'm assuming it'll be really nice. It smells amazing. Then I got this. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Drying Lotion. Pretty much what it is is kind of like the Mario Badescu drying lotion that I love to the ends of the earth and back. I've bought so many of those over the years. This one I think was only $10 so cheaper than the one from Mario Badescu and it's kind of light gray instead of pink on the bottom but I read the reviews and they seemed really 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 good so I thought I would try it out. I haven't used it yet but I really like the packaging and I have high hopes. I bought this little little set from Sephora. I don't know if it's a holiday set or if it's just like a set they always have. It's from Drunk Elephant which is of course a brand that everyone knows about. It's the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. It comes with a mini virgin marula oil sample. I haven't tried this yet. Again I just got this a couple days ago but I'm really excited to try it out. Also got this which I'm wearing right now. Now it's the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Blushing Margarita, my third one. I love these. I can't say enough good things. And then this is the reason I placed a Sephora order. This is the Laneige Kiss and Make Up Set. Um, if you like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, this is a cute little set to get. The Lip Sleeping Mask on its own I believe is $20 or $25. And here you're also getting three little minis in different scents. And this pack was only $28 I believe. You get the original and berry and then you get a apple lime, a grapefruit, and a vanilla. And I thought they would be too strong but they're really not. They're pretty light scents. There's not much in these minis. I gotta tell you that there's not much product in there. The, this one is the full size so you are getting kind of like a little bonus. It makes a great gift but I'm selfish. <laughs> and then the last thing before we move on to fashion is a new pair of glasses. These were nine dollars plus three dollars for this nice case. This is from the brand the brand or the website I buy direct. I see them all over Instagram and I saw these and I was like, you know what, if they're nine dollars, let's get them. And that's what the, the basic lenses. I did get prescription, but the basic prescription lenses and I think it was free shipping too. I love them so much. A lot of people think they're too big for me, but I like them. Let's try them on. 
I think they look good. They're dirty. Um, I think they look good. I really like how round they are. Most of my glasses that have prescription in them are a bit more rectangular. Um, but these I think are really, really cute. What do you guys think? These are too big for me? I'll link all this stuff below. On to fashion. Okay, shoes first. I got these for like eight bucks on Old Navy. I have shoes that are very similar to this in brown, which you guys have seen in videos before. They're just like little loafers, but they're black. They're soft on the bottom. I like the brown ones I have, but sometimes I don't want to wear brown shoes for my black bag. So I got black ones. They were super cheap. Size 8. Nothing special. These I posted on Instagram, these shoes. I got them on clearance at DSW. I think they're around $20. They look like this. They're from the brand Naturalizer. I've never even heard of that before, to be honest. They have like memory foam on the bottom. Can you see that? How much I can push that in? It's so comfy. I love the color. They're like a grayish blue and they have the white in the bottom. They're super comfy. Just slide my own. Both of these aren't the best winter shoes, but uh... Whatever, whatever. Pants, this is the only pair of pants I have here. Everything else is like a jacket or a sweater or a shirt. These are Levi's. Um, you guys know I'm obsessed with Levi's. These are the 501s. They're a little big on me, which is surprising because they're the same size as I always order. They are buttoned ups, buttoned ups, which I like instead of a zipper in the front here. They are this color, so they're darker than most of my jeans. They are ripped. And then the bottom was roll up, but I cut them and then put them in the wash and uh, I think they look better this way. They are a little bit difficult for me to wear when I try them on for this video. I'm gonna have to wash them to shrink them back to what fits me because they like stretch out really easy. They were on sale at Macy's and I just love myself some Levi's, so I got those. Oh, I did get another bottom actually. Not pants, but a skirt, which is not usually my thing. You guys know I'm not like a big skirt person, but for some reason it looks good on the model. It fit me perfectly. Again from Macy's. This is the brand Tinseltown. I got a size 0, 24. It is just a like thin pencil pencil skirt. It's kind of short, but not too short, which I like. But it's kind of like a worn black, but also like nice enough to wear to like a nicer thing. This shirt I wore in a video already, but I don't know if you guys saw the whole thing. Like the whole shirt. It's from Free People. I got it on sale for like 20 bucks. Guys, check out Macy's like Free People stuff that's on sale. I love this shirt. It's a black showing black on camera you can never see it it's kind of like i don't know if you would call this lace but it has like a lot of really nice detail it's kind of like a peplum it gets tight underneath the boobs and then goes out it has this little like peekaboo hole right here and i just really like it i think i look good in black and the lace little detail goes all the way onto the back i really like it a lot this shirt is definitely more of a summer shirt but it was on sale at american eagle for like eight dollars so i was like yes please it's a halter i love this they had a white color too but i thought let's go for the black it ties around the neck and then ties in the back too so there's like real risk of it coming off which i haven't thought about already it's pretty high necked and like i don't know i just love the color it has like a grayish blue pink a red i just really like it a lot i feel like instead of plain black it's really unique and i could put could pull it off in the winter with like a sweater or a jacket over it or something and then two red things because you guys two 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 red things because you guys know red is my color it's my favorite color to wear not favorite color in life. One is from American Eagle. I don't love it. It's not my favorite. It's very soft and it's just like a button down red cardigan that's kind of like striped. It fits and it's really soft and it's nice and thin so you don't get too hot. But I don't know. It just like fits me kind of weird. I was gonna return it but then I thought I can definitely get use out of it but I haven't worn it since then. Another red sweater looks <laughs> very similar to one my cousin gave me for Christmas like two years ago but I just love red so <laughs> I got it. But the one she gave me was a little bit more short and more of a maroon, like a deeper burgundy, which I love. But this one's a bit more like brighter red and it's from Jessica Simpson. It's a small, it's really, really, really thick. It's kind of like a mock neck, like that loose kind of turtleneck thingy. It has these like stripes kind of running through it. And then it has these, this is probably my favorite part, it has these bell sleeves. They're like really big and like big around the arm here. And they like fold up and I just really like it with just like a pair of jeans. I feel like it'll be a good Christmas sweater. I got a trench coat. Did I mention this already in a video? I don't believe so. I got this from ASOS. It was 40 something dollars and I love it. I love it. I know a lot of people still are on the trench coat kick but I love it. Like I already said that. I got this in a size 8 which is kind of large for someone how, as small as me. Or size 12? Oh I got a size 12. I originally wanted to get the 4 and then they ran out and I wanted to get the 8 and then they ran out and I got the 12 and I was like screw it I'm getting it. I do think it would look better if I got the appropriate size. It's a little big. So this is it. I got this color. I absolutely can't say I love it again because I already said it a hundred times. It has like all the classic parts of a trench coat like the belt so you can tie it in the front or just like loop it in the back. It has like that buckle and then the inside has this like blue and white stripe 
and I just think it's so classy. The only weird thing, which I didn't notice till recently after I bought it, is that it has elbow sh shoulder shoulder pads in it. I guess this gives it like a structure shape, but I don't know. It also has really nice size pockets I can put my phone into. I adore this coat so much. Oh my god, I told you I only got one pair of pants and then I showed you a skirt and now I remembered I got another pair of pants. My memory. These pants are interesting, but I had to get them. They just screamed me. They're from Gap. They're stretchy and they're striped all the way down. They're wide leg and then they tie in the front as you could probably see and like there's this pretty long belt thing happening they're like a really cool like sweatpants texture but like they look actually really nice they would look cool with these shoes but i got them on a good like 40 percent off sale so i can't wait to try to wear those i don't know if it's gonna be like a cool winter pant because there's white on it this shirt <laughs> you guys are gonna hate it i can just say that right now like 90 percent of you're gonna hate this shirt but i love it it's like a dad joke but it's not it's just so cheesy that when I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna buy that shirt. It was $7, so I bought it. It's a maroon t-shirt from the men's section of Old Navy, and this is what it says on it. Fresh Beats. So it's a beat, wearing headphones and sunglasses. Is it not the funniest shirt you've ever seen? I love it so much. I'll probably just wear it to bed, but like, come on. You guys know I wear my white robe all the time. It's super comfortable and great, but it's white and it gets dirty and sometimes it's too hot. So I got myself a robe that's a little less warm and I thought it was going to be like satiny, like more silky and I was wrong, but I kept it anyway. It literally clings to cat hair like nothing else, but what are you going to do? It's from Old Navy. I've worn it already and I like it a lot. It's actually really comfortable. It's like a red stripe around the collar. It has little pockets and it's a little shorter and like thinner than the other one. So that was everything for this haul and if you like this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more from me, and I guess we'll see you next time.